yourselves and you're watching Bretto Live. What's going on guys? Bretto Live back with another video and today we have part one of AEW Unrivaled series. Eight. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, as well as Trent or Trent Beretta. Yes, guys, we're going to be reviewing and unboxing all these figures in this video. Of course, before we do, we pick them all up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, using discount code LAVICH to save 10%. If you ever to use the code, save some money. Chuck and Trent, brand new to the line. Orange Cassidy, we have seen him before in Unrivaled Series 3, but oh, it's good to see him here with a fresh new Best Friends t-shirt looking awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm very excited to get these out of the box. Again, from Unrivaled Series 8, we're going to start off by taking a look at the packaging. Uh, AEW, they kept, they've they kept the trend of the packaging. Ever since Series 1, they've kept their style of packaging. I wonder when they're going to change it and or if they're going to change the packaging. I do like the style, though. Very unique. It's always different for each superstar because the card is always different because the, you know, it's this is an actual picture of the guy, so they got to cut it out to them. Here's a look of the at the back here for you guys. Not bad whatsoever. Looking pretty, pretty cool. Other people in the series got Chris Jericho, John Moxley, Trent, Chuck, Orange Cassidy, as well as Chris Statlander, which I'm really excited for that. Chris Statlander. Stay tuned for, uh, for part two. That video is going to be dropping very, very soon. But without further ado, guys, we are going to get to it and not waste any more time. We're going to crack each and every one of these figures out of the box, and then we're going to get a closer look. Starting off first with Chuck Taylor, one half the original best friends we are gonna jump right in but before we do we got to take a look at the accessory the one accessory that he does come with is this entrance jacket slash entrance vest right here not looking half bad it is a very nice rubbery material to it making it slip on and almost nearly feel like cloth it's not a hard rubber whatsoever i could literally crumble it up in a ball and it'll come back how cool is that it says chuck on the front of course and then you got a couple pockets molded on the front nothing on the back it's pretty basic it's a nice black uh, entrance vest there and of course here is the chuck taylor figure this is his first ever figure i believe ever made I don't, yeah he's never had a figure in the past this is chuck taylor's first ever figure right here looking per not half bad i see mixed opinions coming on this head scan but honestly i don't think it's too bad i think it's the face i think it's the facial expression that's got me tripping up a little bit but honestly it's not that that's not too bad i definitely do see chuck taylor there i like the open mouth the hair looks on fleek going all the way to the side not bad at all this torso is so accurate literally so accurate to his actual to his actual body literally it's insane like this is literally chuck taylor's body right here like that is literally it right there it's crazy amazing diaphragm joint articulation is on fleek we do have the black elbow pads right here with the open insides, which I wish they would do with the Mattel AJ Styles figures. This is awesome. Gives you literally max articulation, which is awesome. And then you do have the white wrist tape. He only did come with fisted hands, but I do have some extra open hands in my uh, AEW interchangeable hands bin, so that is good. Moving down to the tights, not looking bad whatsoever. He's got the belt going on with the silver belt buckle at the top. He's got some slight details going around the figure. He's got the purple and the yellow. Reminds me of the Lakers on each side of on the back, I like this little logo. It says Kentucky Gentleman right there, outlined in purple. Main color is yellow, not bad. Moving down, he does have the black knee pads, and then these boots are very unique. He's got the black kick pads, right? But then he's got this little, like, flap coming out of the top of the boot right there. How cool is that? But other than that, main color is black in the boots and the kick pads. Not a bad figure. And then, then, bam, 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 best friend. Dun, dun, dun. And now we're going to be taking a closer look at Orange Cassidy. It's that freaking Orange Cassidy. Here he is, guys. Look at this freaking figure. Oh, my gosh. Even though it's nearly the same figure as the Unrivaled Series 3, I do have the Unrivaled Series 3 on standby right here in my left hand, as you guys can see right there. The minor slight difference, I would say, is in the hair tone on his uh, beard and his hair. Some minor color differences throughout the figure, but other than that, main difference is the shirt. As you guys can see right there, I like this shirt a little bit better. It's more vibrant. It's pretty cool. Even though this is a cla this is classic. But I mean this one's more vibrant, stands out a little better. But yeah, both of these next to each other is very cool. That's the Unraveled Series 3, by the way. Oh, uh, but yeah, removing the glasses that he comes with, by the way. Black lenses, outlined with gold rims. Not bad. 
Here's a look at the head scan. I really do think they captured Orange Cassidy amazing here. I literally think this looks exactly like him. The eyes are on fleek. The facial expression is stern. It's freaking Orange Cassidy. He doesn't have too much to show, man. Look at that. The beard looks good. The hair looks good. Literally, I love this head scan. This literally looks exactly like Orange Cassidy. And another thing that I freaking love, look at this freaking jacket he comes with. It's a shirt and jacket combo. As you can see, I know I already kind of showed the logo, but there it is again. Best friends, you can see their hands wrapping around Orange Cassidy. And then this denim freaking jacket is beautiful. Look at this thing. So cool. It's got the flap. You could keep that down if you want, and or you could put it up. I like the look of it down, though. Uh, and if you guys are wondering how this is removable, there is Velcro on the inside of the shirt, so you don't have to worry about, like, sliding it above his freaking, like, sl sliding it up his neck at all or anything like that. It's super easy to remove, just like this. I'm showing you guys literally on camera, which could be hard sometimes. And then jumping into the Orange Cassidy figure itself. Torso, again, just like Chuck Taylor, this is Orange Cassidy's body. Like, literally, that is him. I believe this is the Darby Allen torso as well. Uh, but this is this literally looks exactly like Orange Cassidy's body. Interchangeable hands-wise, he comes with a half-up thumb that Orange Cassidy is famous for. And he comes with one hand that could go into the pockets, which is so wicked. Of course, this is a rubber piece. It's a separate piece. And then it's just regular legs up, on, up in there. So you're going to get the swivel right there, which is pretty cool. And you still get almost all your articulation still it's crazy how that works i love the pocket design so amazing amazing jeremy pedwar and everybody at the jazzwares team you guys literally killed this orange cassidy for the second time you can see the black knee pad uh sticking out of the denim freaking uh jeans right there amazing detail going around on these and then of course you do have the wrestling shoes at the bottom which isn't half bad he is also including a black elbow pad right here as well as open interchangeable hands if you don't want to use the specific ones that he comes with. But yeah, I just want to pop on the little uh, elbow pad really quick because he comes out with the elbow pad normally in his back pocket and the Unraveled Series 3 did not come with it. So it's cool to see the elbow pad with Orange Cassidy now. We didn't see it in the past. That's another new thing. Rent! or Trent Beretta. Before we jump into his figure, we're gonna take a look at his one accessory that he does come with. He's coming with this big jacket, unlike Chuck Taylor. Coming with a jacket instead of a vest. Looking very, very cool. Of course, you can see the Trent on the front with the question mark when he lost his last name. And then, of course, you can see the yellow lines on his uh, arms right there, which is pretty nice. This one is, I wouldn't, I mean, it's a soft rubber, but I mean, it's not the softest rubber ever, so it is gonna in inhibit articulation a little bit. Of course, there you can see the big question mark on the back. Looking very cool. I like that. Just a big yellow good old question mark going on. I think that's pretty cool. Of course, here is the Trent Beretta action figure. First ever Trent Beretta right here, guys. Looking amazing. Starting off first with the head scan. It is a little trippy to me, this head scan. I think the main reason being is because he shaved his head recently and he doesn't have long hair anymore. I think that's the main reason why this head scan's trippy to me. But honestly, it's not too bad. I like the facial expression, stern facial expression. He's got the black um, headband built, or not built in, molded on to the head. You can see the brown hair going all the way around the back. Yes, he does have a shaved head now. He does have a buzz cut type head, um, head going, uh, or haircut going on now. Moving to the torso. Okay, Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, they nailed their torsos times two. But this one... This is like a freaking, like, if Brian Cage had a figure, like, this is like a Brian Cage style of freaking upper body. Like, like this, this is fine. I, I'm, I'm good with the midsection. But the upper body right here, yo, that thing is freaking shredded. Like, Trent's shredded, but, like, not that shredded, dude. Uh, he, he is sporting one uh, elbow pad on the right elbow. And then, of course, you do see the little uh, wrist tape he's got going on with little logos on the front. I think that's pretty cool. Moving down to his attire, main color is black and he's got a bunch of different vibrant yellow and freaking blue colors surrounding the gear you can see a little guy right there circle there very nice just different logos surrounding his gear it's very unique very cool i'm really into it it's very nice and moving down of course he does have the Dolph ziggler style of boots Trent always makes sure to, make sure to sport these. Got the Velcro going that side, and that's outlined in minor silver if it's showing up on camera. Yeah, it is. Not bad. But yes, guys, that has been the review on the Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, and Trent Beretta Best Friends action figures from Unraveled Series 8. If you guys enjoyed this video, you would definitely enjoy some of my others. Make sure to check out all the new videos on the channel. There's a freaking ton of them. Make sure to subscribe while you're down there, as well as using code live at Ringside Collectibles. I'd really appreciate it. Save some money when you buy your wrestling figures and accessories. Why not? And I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to the channel!
Bird Alive, out.